Center, come in. This is Zeb. I need a rescue. Does anyone read me? Oh no! <sighs> Admirals, thank you for coming. <sighs> I was dreaming about a planet made of ice cream. I woke up licking my pillow. What is the emergency, Silas? As you know, I've been overseeing the TTA's research lab on a moon called Namazu. Yes, Namazu is made of rock, but also contains lots of metal. Lots! So what's happened? The moon orbits around that planet. On the planet's surface, there's a charging station that started malfunctioning and is now acting like a giant supermagnet. Oh, that's not good for a nearby moon with so much metal in it. Correct. And now, the supermagnet is causing the moon to break apart. Oh no, oh, that's bad. It gets worse. Someone is on the moon. The robot Zeb, he's trapped in our underground research lab. Zeb? <gasps> he must be rescued immediately. Contact Mission Force One. Excuse me, sirs, but I can handle the rescue without Mission Force One. Silas, they're the best team in the galaxy. They'll help you get the job done. They always say that. It's a very catchy catchphrase. Very catchy. You have our orders. Now hurry. Mission accepted, admirals. I'll contact Captain Miles Callisto right away. Saving Silas. Ready. Let's go. A galactic good night. Art by Edvard Munch. And... Music by Ludwig von Beethoven. Hi, I'm Leo. And guess what? My friends and I are having a sleepover in the rocket room. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we all brought our sleeping bags and pillows so we can sleep here with Rocket. That's right, Rocket. It's bedtime. I have a special trick that I do before I fall asleep. Do you want to see what it is? Every night, I turn on my baton nightlight. And that helps me fall asleep. Oh! Cool! I have a sleeping trick, too. I always do a sleepy spin before bed. Whee! Hugging my instruments blanket helps me fall asleep. And I can't go to sleep until I sing a good night song. La 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 la. What do you do before you go to sleep? Oh, cool. Now we can all go to sleep. Good night. What you doing? We're making the biggest airplane ever. Cool. Coincidentally, we're going for our aeronautics patches. Coincidentally, we could use extra hands. Coincidentally, we're in. We're making our plane out of paper mache with newspaper. Why? To make sure it's newsworthy. <laughs> <laughs> and red all over. <laughs> oh, 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 ha, and funny. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> and funny. 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 <laughs> you know, cuz cuz the funnies. <laughs> But seriously, Howard Hughes called his plane the Spruce Goose because it was made of wood. So we're going to call ours the Paper Pelican because it's made out of newspaper. You know, so it'll have a good circulation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Ahem. There's been a lot of talk around here about diving and snakes and diving with snakes and snakes in the pools filled with piranha and... Sulfuric acid. I didn't say anything about sulfuric acid. Leave all questions to the end of the rant. Thank you. Now, say goodbye to splashy pool time fun forever. Even my power source is grievo. Look, look, it's solar. D do you mind, Perry the Platypus? This is, this is really a two-handed job. Planet Alarbus, the beach, the jungle beyond. Oh, this is just glorious. <laughs> I'll take it. Now I need a place to live. Maybe just a little house. Or a huge castle. <laughs> home. Next, I need a security system to protect my new world. Shield activate! <laughs> Robots, good morrow! Welcome to our planet. Um, hi, who are you? I am Grendel the Militissa, master of revelry, lord of misrule. A chance you have heard of me? No bother. I have been looking for a place from which to build my kingdom. Therefore, I plan to take Alarbus for myself. <gasps> You're taking Alarbus from us? You can't do that. Not forthwith, my aluminum chap. I fancy myself a fair-minded opponent. I take only what I win fairly and most squarely. You may have your planet back if you can beat me at one of my games. <laughs> Games? Oh no, we are bad at the games. <laughs> Grendel's Moving Castle. Okay, was it crackers? Peanut butter? Cottage cheese? Oreos? Raspberries! We need raspberries! I'll get some. Keep cooking! Raspberries, Mom, I need raspberries! Oh, sure, Nancy, but what is it? Merci! Really? The earliest I can get a table is next Saturday. <sighs> Raspberries! Quick! Throw some on! <gasps> She's leaving! Wait! Grace! Careful! And there goes Grace's food now! Can they serve it without it falling? It's gonna fall! It's... It's... Saved! <sighs> oh. What took you so long? Oh, the kitchen's just really backed up right now. Well? How is it? Hmm. It's good. <gasps> but I better save room for dessert. Face the music. We're gonna rock and roll all night and day. Love you. <laughs> this song sounds.
sounds pretty solid. All we have to do is add Poppy on drums. And we'll be ready for the talent show tomorrow. Where is Poppy anyway? <laughs> well, Poppy's at home working on a new Ghoul Girl song. I did it. I finished the new song. <laughs> Poppy, that's great. Now we can play something new for the talent show tomorrow. I hope you like it. I worked so hard on this song. And V, I gave you the best ukulele solo ever. A solo? Can I play all by myself? Yep. Want to hear it? Whoa, that sounds wild. Really wild. I hope I can pull it off. You can do it, V. You're a great musician. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can totally do this. Let's play our new song. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You're so low, V. that again. Oops. Oh no, did I make the solo too hard? It's a little tougher than I thought. Huh? Seriously? Now, as I was saying before I was so lamely interrupted, I'm gonna show everybody a real daredevil dash. Oh, well that's just not fair. Hey, cool! It's like a half pipe! All right! No, wait! No! Uh, no! I've been practicing diving, not skateboarding! Uh, everyone stop doing things that I'm not good at! Oh, this is a nightmare. Come on, Stacy, let's go! Safety first! Whoa! Safety first! Safety first! Steering wheel? How's this safe? Oh, Candace. Oh! That was your last highly improbable judo maneuver, Perry the Platypus. I will now evaporate the nature into non-existence. Oh no, my, my power source. Oh, great. Now I can't see a thing. Did you, Perry the Platypus? Oh no! It sounds like someone is having trouble falling asleep. Who's having trouble falling asleep? You're right. Rocket can't fall asleep. Rocket sounds upset. He's trying to fall asleep, but he can't do it. Come on, guys. Rocket, don't you have a special trick that helps you fall asleep? Oh, no. Rocket doesn't have a sleeping trick. Here, Rocket, try hugging my instruments blanket. I wonder if that made Rocket go to sleep. His lights are turning off. His antenna is sagging. Do you think Rocket is sleeping? <laughs> no. That didn't make Rocket go to sleep. What do we do now? Rocket loves that planet's mobile. That gives me an idea. Maybe the planets could help Rocket fall asleep. We can go to outer space and count the planets. Yeah! That will make Rocket so tired, he'll fall asleep for sure. There are nine planets in outer space, Rocket. If we count all nine planets, I promise you'll fall asleep. Ah! 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 My friend! It appears that I am out of 
Yes, you won. No, Balji. Just put in another quarter. But all I have is a dollar. Oh, what do you know? Same good one. If you can answer this last riddle, you will be the winners. With a few lumps of coal, your smile's frozen in place. But too much sunshine wipes it right off your face. Okay, team. Let us think. What has a frozen smile made of coal? Ooh, is it a lava lizard? Made of coal, yes. Frozen, no. Lumps of coal? Smiles frozen in place? Too much sunshine will... <gasps> I know! A snowman! Yes, that's it! Oh, you're really good at riddles. Thanks, Mr. Cedric. So can you conjure up a snowman? Certainly. No, no, no. If we get this right, we win. I should do it. But I can do it, Father. No, you can't, Cedric! Frigidium Snowman! <laughs> them all snowmen? Cedric, look what you've done! Me? Both of us saying the spell is what made it go wrong. If I did it myself, it would have been fine! 
No, mommy, I'll save you. Snowman is... Raise your arm higher. Restorato. Miltato. What is that? Odin's icicles. You made a little sun, Cedric. You were supposed to say pack and go, not Miltato. You distracted me. Excuses, excuses. Stop it, both of you. Look! Oh no, they're melting! I can fix this. And so can Mr. Cedric, if you just give him a chance. I've given him plenty of chances. Not really, Mr. Goodwin. I know you're just trying to help, but you've been interrupting him all day. And the one time you didn't, he made a perfect butterfly. Well, that's true, but this is a very difficult spell. Which is why you need to let him do it on his own. <sighs> I'll give you one try. But do it quickly, before your dear mother melts. It's all up to you now. Yes, I suppose it is. Right. <sighs> Winter ice and frozen snow. Restorato, pack and go! We're still waiting, Team Goodwin. Do you have an answer to the riddle? Poseidon's pumpkins! You did it, Cedric! I did! Did what? They don't know what happened, so we can still win the contest. One snowman coming right... Uh, uh, Cedric, why don't you do the honors? Really, father? Yes, son. Frigidium Snowman! <laughs> Snowman is the correct answer. Team Goodwin has won the Mystic Meadows Conjuring Contest. Well done. Great conjuring, Mr. Cedric. Yes. Well done, son. Oh, Don't crush the king! Nice sight, huh? Sir Tony, Will you kindly watch where you are going? Relax. I can drive with my eyes closed. See? What are you doing? Don't stop that! Whoa! <laughs> stop me, buddy! I'm driving here! Help me! Whoa! Oh, no! It's raining wheels! Tony, are you okay? I'm okay. Just uh, a little fender bender's all. No, no! Don't move! Oh. Are you two okay? Yes, yes, we're fine. Tony, I need to take you in for a checkup. I'm fine. I'm just gonna drive on out of... Oh, my wheels! Let's get you to the clinic. Is that? Oh, I found it! Found what, Agro? The missing TTA robot you said was out there somewhere! It really is out there somewhere! And I found it! Long last! The Guardian! Someone must have turned it on! Agro, go out and bring the Guardian here to my storm ship. Your wish is my command! Well, your command is my command, so... Okay, I'm leaving. wonder the Kokoros love him. Thanks, Admirals. Good news! The Admirals have agreed to let the Guardians stay here with the Kokoros. <laughs> Nemesis Dumps! Well, well. Mission Force One has also found the lost Guardian. Back off, Agro! Sorry, can't. I'm taking that antique robot and delivering it straight to Commander Nemex. Why does Nemex even want the Guardian? Because any robot capable of flattening scenery down to dirt will be very useful in taking over the TTA. The Guardian is not a weapon. Maybe not to you. Now, if you'll excuse us... Striker bots! <laughs> Hey, Stop. come back here! Space Man. You can't do that! We have to get the Guardian back before Agro gives him to Nemex. Definitely! Everyone to the Zenith! <laughs> Looks like the Kokoros want to help save their friend. Well, we need all the help we can get. Come on! Doofenshmirtz walks to the diner! 
I just called in a to-go order for Doofenshmirtz. Hey, Vic! You got an order for Doofyberg? No, no, no. Doofenshmirtz. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Surely you've heard of me. Okay, order for Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Is that right? No, Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz. My, my, my brother's the mayor. Roger Doofenshmirtz is your brother? Yes, Doofenshmirtz. And your name is? Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Do we have an order for a Hans Doofenblatt? Ah, mark my words. You will remember the name of Heinz Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> Could I still get my whole wheat on rye? Sure, what's your name? Hi ho! <gasps> Look who came for tea! The three bears! They just dropped by to tell me. We're not the ones breaking into people's houses. It's a little blonde girl. <gasps> Would she perchance be all cute and adorable and whatnot? Do you know where she is? She's at our place. Commencing tickling in three, two, one. Tickle! <laughs> oh, tickle! Uh, are we supposed to run towards Gloria or away? Doesn't matter for you, Jilly. <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> oh, 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 that tickles. <laughs> oh, come here, Hallie. <laughs> huh. What kind of galactic ability is this? <laughs> they are all falling to the power of the tickle. Got you, Gloria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me, Hallie! <laughs> I thought the hippo could resist, but no. <laughs> Commander, ready to be tickled? <laughs> I'm a space-tastic space commander. I can take anything. I think. Commence tickling. Oh, tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, 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 can't stop! <laughs> can't tickle, stop tickle, laughing! Tickle, tickle. <laughs> okay, oh, tickle, okay, tickle, enough! Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Please, stop! <laughs> oh, I knew he'd laugh! <laughs> He's gigglier than a giraffe in a gyroscope! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, stop! <laughs> Your laugh is making me laugh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can't stop transforming! Or <laughs> laughing! <laughs> no! Oh, Commander, your light's got me again! Hey, what's going on? Commander Crush is having a problem with his spacesuit. Uh, space vehicle, spacesuit. Uh, space vehicle, uh, spacesuit. Help! Can't stop transforming. Something's wrong. You can say that again. Something's wrong. Well, I was just following orders. Commander Crush, permission to give you a checkup. Whoa! Permission granted. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cash! Wheel! Now let's meet those contestants. I'm Doug from Fairfield, California. I'm Donna from. I'm Ron Stan. Stan Pines. <laughs> did we? Do we already do me? Hello, I'm Stan. <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna be a long night, folks. <laughs> it's time to solve. <laughs> it's uh, time to solve that puzzle, Carla. Yes, Rich. Are there any S's? Actually, it's not your turn yet. I'm ready to solve. No, the game hasn't started. Is it? Shut your yaps. Well played. Cash shower, cash shower, cash shower. Cash shower! Yes! Mr. Pines, no, you don't need to take your clothes off. No, go to commercial. Go to commercial! He's going to have to climb Polar Bear Mountain all by himself. Hold on, little totem pole. Don't worry, I'll climb Polar Bear Mountain with you. Rocket and the team will follow us. We have 
have to watch out for polar bears. Will you help me and Little Totem Pole get over Polar Bear Mountain? Great! What's wrong, Little Totem Pole? What did Little Totem Pole see? That's right! It's a big polar bear! Don't worry, Little Totem Pole. I know what to do. I'm going to play a song on my flute to make the polar bear fall asleep. But I need your help. Play your flute with me. Did it work? Yes! The polar bear fell fast asleep. We did it! Now, let's keep climbing. Uh-oh! It's an even bigger polar bear! Help me make the polar bear fall asleep. Play your flute. went to sleep. Phew, we're almost at the top of the mountain, little totem pole. Let's keep climbing. It's the biggest polar bear of all! What should we do now? Those are ours. Custom shop! Team Martak, it's time for your next riddle. 
to make sure you're not late. Just look at my face or watch for the birdie, just in case. That is a very good guess. <laughs> but I'm afraid it's not quite right. The answer is not just a clock, but a cuckoo clock. Ugh, we were so close. How do you say goodbye? When you say goodbye, you blow a raspberry. <laughs> Let's all do it. <laughs> Unlike my cheating uncle, I have something to show you that isn't a hoax. It nearly killed me getting him into that cage. Behold, part gremlin, part goblin, the Gremlin! Well, that's fun. It's fake, honey. You can see the strings. What? Those aren't strings, that's body hair. Ah, oh, look at this, dear. The six pack -a -lope. <laughs> Wordplay. No, everything else here is fake. This is a real paranormal beast. Hey, fun fact about this little guy. If you look into his eyes, you can see your worst nightmare. Amazing, right? I work for tips. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for visiting. <sighs> Right, let's play our flutes to make the polar bear fall asleep. Did it work? Yes, he fell asleep. Great flute playing. to the top of Polar Bear Mountain! That was amazing! Good for you! Way to go, guys! Okay, commence operation concisely state what the heck is going on around here. Notepad? Check. Ducky Momo 15th anniversary happy pencil? Check. 
keen eye and a dominable will to bust? Check. Okay, guys, get ready for some nanobot morphing action. Suri up, suri up, suri up, suri up, Denise and Ferb are making a giant tape dispenser, but it's also a faucet and a rowboat and a baseball hat and a light bulb and a gingerbread man with a fist for a head and a pig face and Stop. a... Stop. Okay, your stories are always full of holes, but it's usually just one story. Here, let me demonstrate. I'll be the Candace, and you be the beautiful mother. <clears throat> Mom, Phineas and Ferb have brought Genghis Khan back from the past, and he's teaching the neighbors how to throw hatchets from horseback. You see? One story. They'll probably do that, you know. There's the Big Dipper, and the Little Dipper, and Gemini, and also... Oh, Doc. I think you could use a cuddle. Aw, oh, thanks, Lammy. That feels really nice. But... You still feel sad? If a lammy cuddle doesn't work, then you know things are serious. I could do my stuff shaker dance. That usually helps. <laughs> oh. Or I could sing a song. La 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 la. Thanks for trying, guys. I'm just gonna try to get some sleep. <sighs> Planet Lankersol. I have a visual on a Discover bot. It's moving fast. Seriously fast. Then that's how we need to move. There it is! I'm gonna get a closer look. Loretta, please take the controls. On it. We got your back, Miles. Also your hands, your feet, and your toes. Flash shield, go! I got you! So that's how you want to do this, huh? Okay then, activate Speed Burst! Now let's put you on a leash. different about this bot? Uh, it's lying down? Those Discover bots were made by the TTA. But that's a Nemesis Systems logo. <laughs> they covered up the TTA one. So Nemesis Systems is behind this. But why would they reprogram all the Discover bots to go crazy? I'll find out. This would be easier if you didn't break it, Miles. It would still be running wild if I hadn't. Now, let's figure out what mission Nemesis Systems gave you. Whoa, check this out. Hey, that's the tech stuff. My parents invented it. What does it do? It can shut down any machine that it touches. So if Nemesis Systems gets it, they'll be able to turn off any ship or machine that goes after them. It's all part of their plan to take over the TTA. I get it now. Nemesis Systems reprogrammed the Discover bots to steal the tech stuff. We have to keep them from getting it. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Yes, Oxy Chew! Licorice! <laughs> 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 